Good seeing you. It's good to see you. You know, we were talking just before the show briefly, and you guys, I know, are, are busy throughout the whole year, but it really, unfortunately, bumps up uh, the busyness in, in your world in summertime, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, a lot of volume on the front end. Uh, people are traveling. Kids are out later. Yeah, sure. <laughs> no curfew or no or no no school nights, and so yeah. you get a lot more traffic and a lot more action all around. A lot more action, a lot more um, unfortunately uh, accidents. So let, let's talk about the, um, the the benefits and what some misconceptions when it comes to benefits and and traps that we need to to watch out for. Yeah, uh, I get this question probably once a week. Somebody will call me and they'll say, "Hey, I was in a car wreck maybe a month ago, six months ago." Uh, and we're trying to kind of backtrack and, and, and follow up on the case. And I'll say, well, do you know what your medical bills are to date? That's a, you know, that's a factor. And they'll say, no, but I've got these EOBs. I've got these explanation of benefits. And uh, they're helpful, uh, but the problem is they're not definitive and, and they're not admissible, meaning a, a judge and a jury wouldn't see these. And it's not a true measure of the case. People kind of get lulled into relying on them, and it's really not a not an accurate measure. Okay. So when yeah. it comes to explanation of benefits, so talk to us. What, we, what do we need to know? Let's say yeah. we get in a car wreck, or maybe someone's been involved in a car wreck here in the last 48 hours, in the last couple of days. What What do they need? What do they yeah. What do they need to know when they contact you? Yeah, uh, kind of have an idea uh, of where you've been and, okay. and what your injuries are and, and where you may be headed. And now EOBs are great because they're health insurance related. They kind of help you keep track of what's out there. But but EOBs really speak for themselves. You'll always see it. They'll say, this is not a bill. And that, that's key because okay. this is not an accurate measure. It's helpful, but don't rely on it. Let okay. it be kind of a guide for you. And oftentimes people kind of get, get misled unintentionally about how to proceed with their case and they'll rely on these and it's really just kind of one step in the process. Sure, sure. Yeah. So when somebody calls you and they talk to you or they talk to one of your paralegals, they talk to a team member, yeah. what do they need to have when they make that initial phone call? I guess you guys will, will, will yeah. talk them through step by step. Yeah, we we'll want to have some, some confirmation of what happened, an accident report, things like that. But more importantly, we want to give them advice and let them understand that there's a lot of moving parts to this case. You've got multiple medical bills, mm -hmm. presumably from going to the ER, the ambulance, wherever else. And so some of this stuff's hitting your mailbox. Uh, some of these partial bills are coming. Some of these EOBs are coming. Yeah. Uh, but there, there's a lot out there that we need to gather on the front end. And it, it helps to kind of make sure you're aware of what all is needed. Sure, sure. Yeah. So it's safe to say keep everything on file, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to discount these. These are great to have. Yeah. Hold on to them. Keep them central keep them consolidated but don't don't rely on them solely this is really just one piece of the puzzle okay okay yeah, absolutely. so what does it look like when it comes to a time frame uh, when you accept a case uh, you know wh what does that look like yeah I typically will tell people hey look at, hey, we're looking at four to six months okay uh, it could be quicker it could be longer right now we want your treatment and your health to be the you know the mm -hmm. primary focus we'll handle the rest you get better you know that's the that, that that's the biggest focus. Now, you know, handling the property damage versus the injuries, that's another conversation. But we, we want to streamline this process and, and make it as easy as possible. Okay, Zach, good yeah. seeing you. Thanks. As always, congrats yeah. on the weight loss. Yeah, hey, thank you. <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm hopefully heading in the right direction. <laughs> Bestlawhb.com for more information. And uh, here's his address, uh, and here's his phone number too. If you have any questions, it's 12:34. We'll be back in two and a half minutes. This and that. We'll be right back.